Okay, in this presentation we are going to look at some entropy calculations. So what we have here is two sources. We have Y, which comprises three symbols ABC, and X, which also comprises three symbols ABC. Okay, so the job is calculate the marginal and joint entropies of X and Y. So this is the information that we're given. We're given the joint probabilities, okay, here. And so we have 0 0.250 0 and 0 0.125 and so on. So what we're going to do is get the marginal probabilities first off for X and then Y. So for X, the probability that X equal to A is the sum of the first row, 0 0.375. The probability of X equal to B is 0 0.125. And the probability that X is equal to C is 0 0.5. So that is just adding up the values in the rows. So what we're going to do now is the same thing for X, calculate the columns, 0 0.250 0 and 0 0.125, that gives us 0 0.375, likewise 0 0.375 here, and then 0 0.25. Okay, so this will help us calculate the marginal entropies. So I'm going to sort of split it up into two parts here. So I, first off, I'm going to do the entropy of X, H of X, which is marginal entropy. What I'm going to do here is calculate, uh, assign the values here, the probability values, that the marginal probability values that I have just calculated. And then I am going to calculate the information associated with each of these probabilities. So the information is simply minus log base 2 of P. Okay. So what I have here is just minus log to the base 2 of P. So minus log to the base 2 of 0 0.375, that should be 1.4150. Likewise, the minus log to the base 2 of 0 0.250 uh, is 3. And for 0 0.50, the information is 1. Okay. So the entropy is simply the sum of the probabilities times the information. So essentially what I'm going to do is multiply the numbers here. I'm going to multiply this number here by that number there. And I should get 0 0.5306. Likewise here, uh, 0 0.1250 times 3. That gives me 0 0.3750. And then finally, 0 0.500. So when I add those up, that gives us the entropy of X, which is this number here. And that is essentially just add up the values in this column here. And I should get 1.4056 bits per symbol. Okay. Now, so this is the entropy of X over on one side. I'm going to do the entropy of Y here. So again, I have my totals here from above. 0 0.375, uh, 0 0.375, and 0 0.2500. Again, what I'm going to do now is calculate the information associated with each of these probabilities. So that, again, is minus log to the base 2 of P. So minus log to the, uh, li minus log to the base 2 of 0 0.3750 gives me 1.4150. So I have that in twice, there and there. And minus log to the base 2 of 2, that gives, uh, of two, 0 0.2500, 0, 0, that gives me 2. When I multiply out the probabilities P times I, there we go, I get 0 0.5306, 0 0.5306, and 0 0.50. So I'll, putting those together, adding them up, that gives me the entropy of Y, the marginal entropy of Y, okay? H of Y equals 1.5613 bits per symbol. Okay. Now, the joint entropy. So what I'm going to do here is just a sort of slight abstraction of what we have of the table above. Okay. Uh, the reason I sort of set it up this way really is just actually so, so that you can show what your workings in an exam paper. I just noticed there's a fair amount of consistency here between the... Uh, probability so we have a few 0 0.25s two of them there and we have a few 0 0.125s we have four of them and there's three cases where the probability is zero 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 
and zero. Okay. So uh, that helps me just sort of compact things a bit. So I have these probabilities here in ascending order. Okay. And also what I have is the frequency. That just to sort of cut down the duplication of work. Okay. So it's essentially I'm going to duplicate the first calculation three times, second calculation four times, and the third calculation twice. Okay. Now, so for each of these values here, what we have to do is calculate the corresponding information. And again, it is minus log to the base 2 of these numbers here. Now, minus log to the base 2 of 0 is not actually defined. So what we are going to do is, in this case, the convention is just to replace that number with 0. Okay? It's not actually defined, so just 0 is what we would put in there instead. Okay? Uh, 3 and 2. Okay? And what we're going to do here is add them all up. So remember, entropy... of x and y equals the sum of i, x, and y times p, x, and y. Okay, so the idea here of having the frequency in is just to sort of speed things up. Rather than having three or four, two, three or four uh, replications. Okay, so zero times three times zero, that's zero. Zero point one two five times four times three, that gives us one point five. And then zero point two five times two times two gives gives me one. So in this case, the joint entropy here is um, zero or two point five. Two point five bits per symbol okay so probably should write that down just a sort of final answer okay we leave it there